Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, uh, for those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders, and our website is www.stochastic-macd.com. For all trades, we use the 5% money management rules and apply stop loss in all trades. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. It is primarily for the TSCW24, TSCWSYS08, and the TSCWSYS08 uh, traders. Uh, today is the 10th of June uh, 2012, and the time in London is 1103. Uh, the title of this video is uh, the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and the NASA 100 index. In this video, we will analyze the Dow Jones index, the S&P 500, and the Nasdaq 100 index in view to determine a high probability at trades. At the end of the main topic, we will discuss the Euro USD okay, and the pound uh, dollar currency. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to thank thanks start. traders uh, for their support, for rating our video, for commenting our video, uh, for liking our Facebook page. Okay. So the first candidate is uh, the Nasdaq uh, okay, Composite Index. We are looking on the yearly chart of the Nasdaq uh, uh, composite index okay uh, the white horizontal line this is the smart high the smart high for the nasdaq uh, index is at uh, 3134 uh, the second white horizontal line here that's the smart low uh, for the nasdaq composite index is at uh, 1265 the smart media line uh, for uh, the nasdaq composite index uh, is at uh, 2199 this is the most influential uh, critical price level if you do not know what is the critical price level, you need to go to www.articlebase.com, look for uh, the article title, uh, Trading a Critical Price Level. You may also Google for Trading Critical Price Level to know the formula for the, okay, uh, the smart media line. You may also go to www.depotrader.com uh, to check uh, the formula for the uh, critical price level. The critical price level for the NASA Composite Index is at... Uh, uh, 2199, the most influential. There's a high chance, okay, that uh, this uh, index, okay, slowly but gradually may come back and retest, okay, uh, uh, the small media line at uh, 2199. This is the yellow horizontal line here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you, you watch it now. Also, we can see here there is a hot a spot trading zone. A hot spot trading zone is a level where the price has changed in direction. You can see there was a bullish momentum and there the price changed in direction here. The price returned back again to the same zone. The same zone. You see the zone. The same zone. Some traders start selling here. Okay, watch it uh, carefully. Okay, so do not forget, okay, the, the small media line for this uh, NASA Composite Index at a 2199. As we have seen recently, I was telling today about crude oil. The small media line for crude oil was at $90, okay, $90. And I was telling today that crude oil slowly but gradually will seek, okay, to hug, so to speak, okay, the small media line. Exactly this is what has happened, okay, for, okay, uh, crude oil. So watch it carefully. As we have seen for crude oil, there's a high chance here, okay. Also, if you pay attention carefully, this video is for educational purposes only. I explain to traders, okay, diagonal move, that's the normal progression of the price. If you knew this in the year 2000, you see there was a, a diagonal move and then a vertical move. We know the formula, retracement to the opposite diagonal. That's what's happening here, okay? And the price retests at the same level. We're again at a resistance level now, okay, on this uh, yearly chart. Do not forget the small media line. Moving on very fast, ladies and yes, gentlemen, for uh, this... Uh, and that is that composer in this we go to the quarterly chart what do we see i want you to pay attention to the momentum the bullish momentum from 2009 you can see that from 2009 we have a very strong bullish momentum here can you see very bullish momentum okay for almost a uh, four quarter the whole year was bullish all right look carefully here in 2010 this look at the bullish momentum look at the green candle it was bullish, but not as strong as it was in the year 2010. So there was a decrease, okay, in the bullish momentum. Pay attention always, whether you are in a downtrend, pay attention to the strength of the, of the bearish momentum. If you are in an uptrend, pay attention to the strength of the bullish momentum. So we have a strong bullish momentum in this session, 2009, okay. In 2010, 
he was bullish but not as strong as he was before so there was no improvement okay in the bullish momentum look at for here ladies and gentlemen this is in 2011 okay a bullish momentum still decreasing okay there was this uh, tall one here now traders okay are taking but they have taken more than 50 percent of this uh, a bullish uh, candle now on this quarterly chart ladies and gentlemen do not ignore okay the key level there is a support level here around the zone of uh, a 2800 do not ignore it the price break above this uh, okay support this uh, resistance level okay so it break above the resistance level retest the resistance level we are now okay waiting to convert uh, so to speak that resistance level into a support level so break above it okay on the quarterly chart the level of 2800 for the nice composite index key level to remember now we are retesting it this quarter is not yet finished you will finish at the end of June, the 30th 30, the 30 of June 2012. That will be the end. This candle will close. So wait patiently for this candle to close. So there is a high chance we may see a lot of uh, consolidation, blah, blah, blah. As the market is waiting for this uh, okay, quarterly candle to close. This is uh, very important for day uh, traders. Okay? All right? So we are, at a, we are retesting a key level in a zone of uh, 28. So if you want to... Uh, move it a bit up so talking about 2850 call it 2850 down to the 2800 okay so we break above it bullishly on last quarter now we are retesting it then we will wait for this candle to close on the, on the 30th of june very important that uh, very important especially the last week of june watch it carefully especially the last day of june watch it carefully as the market will play it bearishly uh, to close it but they will be very careful so that it doesn't get very very messy here and then in the beginning of uh, july we will see whether okay the bull will continue to take it out so break a bull retest it whether we will see a turnaround all right but in my view i doubt it because the market has been manipulated for two years as i've been saying this for a long time the markets do for correction we will see whether we will drag it on as i told you before on one leg or not okay very fast we're moving on again to the monthly chart talking about nasdaq composite index now we can see we count five with here one two three four five okay now the third area wave okay shouldn't be the shortest wave some may say this is a correction blah 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 but all i can say we can see five wave one two three four five when we count five wave we pause okay it doesn't matter whether it's a corrective five wave like a flat correction okay abc abc flat wave down or not all we know that when we count five wave we will pay attention okay that's all we know okay whether it's impulsive or corrective as soon as we count five wave we will we will pause we will pay attention carefully okay all right all right so we have one two three four five traders are acknowledging this five okay move they start taking profit we are now you can see this monthly candle okay it's getting bullish now okay at this uh, power level uh, that i was telling you at 2800 watch it okay carefully but in my view ladies and gentlemen for long term view if the bearish the market is very very smart they will prefer though there is a support level here they will prefer the media line uh, of this channel here from here the white one to the yellow one they will prefer the media line which is somewhere in the zone of uh, two six okay call it two six zero zero okay call it call it or uh, two six three zero in the zone of two six zero zero okay they will prefer to bring it to the media line of uh, this uh, uh, channel here the, the size of uh, the channel below here is equal to the channel here the market is very very smart and will prefer okay to retest this man the, the, the media line of uh, this uh, okay the uh, channel if that fail to hold it we are back to daddy that's what i call the small media line prior going back to daddy to give a hug to daddy okay as we have seen for the crude oil all right going quickly to the okay daily chart talking about uh, the nice that compose that index the anyway, keeping our eyes wide open without blinking okay those who are obsessed with uh, the daily chart what do we see we see blah 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 okay all right so we can see that okay try to run fast pull back here if we we had we try to go down more on the hourly chart though all this taking place we are still in a bearish channel if you draw your channel on the hourly chart you can see that we are still in a bearish uh, channel this is about okay 
the NISA Composer Index. I invite you to follow me into the next video when we will talk about the Dow Jones Welcome Index. Back. Let's See continue. There. We are now looking on the Dow Jones Index, my favorite uh, okay, index, okay, uh, which represents uh, 30 stocks. Uh, okay. Now we are, we are looking on a yearly chart. Okay. I still have my uh, drawing, if you remember my previous video. My drawings are here intact. Okay, I did not remove them, and uh, we were approaching the level of 1300, a resistance zone. And I have here the hot spot the zone. That time I was telling you there was a hot spot the zone, a hot spot the zone. We are now again the hot spot the zone. Traders so start responding, acknowledging the hot spot the zone, taking profit as the Dow is uh, going back down a bit. You can see there was a whole spot trading zone here. Try to test it here. The whole spot trading zone allowed traders to achieve consistent winning trade, making excellent decision at a hot uh, spot uh, trading zone. Okay, all right. And also, we can see that uh, the smart high. The time at the time at the time when I was posting, okay, the video about uh, the Dow Jones. Okay, uh, the smart high was at uh, one three two. Eight nine, the one three two eight nine. We went above that uh, a smart, okay, a smart high for uh, the Dow Jones. So in fact, we have now a new, okay, a smart media line, okay. The current uh, smart high for Dow Jones is at one three three uh, three eight. We have exceeded the previous smart high, which was at one three two eight nine. The current smart high is at one three 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 eight. All right, the smart low did not change, it remained intact at 6469. However, the previous smart media line has changed because the previous smart media line for Dow Jones was at 9879. Because the smart high has been extended, okay, we have a new smart media line. The current smart media line, the disagreement, take a note, very important level for, okay, the Dow Jones is at 9903. That's the smart media line for Dow Jones. Do not forget that. As I explained to you already, for the Nasdaq Harvard, we have the same picture almost here for the Dow Jones. The price in normal condition will seek okay, to retest. Okay, Very often, we we'll seek to retest the smart media line if the price departed or deviated too far away from the smart media line. Okay? Very important. So watch that level of 9903. Okay, you may also refer to my previous, refer back to my previous video uh, when I was talking to you about Dow Jones. You can see the line are still here. I'm going to remove all my lines now on this chart. And uh, and this this is on a yearly chart. So the current smart media line is at 9903. Uh, somewhere, what I'll hold on, please, ladies and gentlemen. Another zero three moment, please. Okay, uh, I'll get them in a minute. Okay, now. The nine nine zero three uh, is somewhere here. Okay, somewhere in this one here. Okay, I'm just going to color it now in yellow again. All right. The most influential critical price level is the smart media line. Okay, you see that the price, okay, at the hot spot zone is coming down. But again, ladies and gentlemen, if you go to the quarterly chart as we have done already for uh, this uh, Nasdaq 100, similar picture. I will go back to my uh, uh, bigger image again. All right, okay. So this is uh, the quarterly chart for uh, the Dow Jones. What do we see here, ladies and gentlemen? As I explained to you before, we are still in a hot spot trading zone. Uh, paying attention to the strength of the momentum, uh, the same thing uh, before you can see the momentum was strong in 2009, ha has been uh, strong but not as strong as it was in 2010, as as it was in 2009. So there was a bit of uh, okay decline, okay, and here again you can see it, and also we can see this uh, one now. But there is a support level here. Same thing for the uh, Nasdaq 100, for the Dow Jones, the level we want to watch carefully. Uh, call it um, one two uh, four five zero. We call it one two four five zero zone. Okay, I'm not talking about price level. We are talking about zone. So we can see the price break above this. Uh, okay, resistance zone on the quarterly chart. Now we are retesting it. We we will wait. We'll do exactly the same thing. Wait for this candle to close on the 30th of June. Watch it carefully. Same thing for the Nasdaq. Okay, same thing for the Dow Jones. This is the market. That's why it's so important to apply the trading triangle, the market first, the sector, before the individual financial instrument. The heart of the trading triangle is the leaders, the news, and the fundamental. And as I'm speaking to you this weekend, okay, there were some, uh, okay, 
decision be made regarding uh, Spain. Spain that was very, very, very proud country, saying that they do not need any bailout, as I explained to you, they need bailout, and uh, they have just received, they will receive uh, 125, uh, okay, uh, a billion, okay, dollar from, uh, okay, the ECB uh, to, 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 to support their bank, okay? So, a decision be made, talking about the inside of the trading triangle, the news, so, uh, the market may respond, uh, being very bullish on Monday, or we will see what's going to happen. I'm not going to assume anything, but these are decisions be made to support okay, a country that needs a bailout. In fact, uh, 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 Spain was very, very uh, proud and arrogant, so to speak, in my view, uh, saying that they do not need any bailout. In fact, they should ask for more money, but uh, they are just saying that, oh, we don't need more money, guys. We are not like uh, Portugal. We are not like... Uh, uh, Ireland, okay, we are not like the uh, United States, we are not like uh, Great Britain, our economy is strong, we are the fourth economy in your zone, and we are also the twelfth economy in the w in the world, and we don't need any bailout. All sorts of nonsense. A country where uh, youth unemployment is more than 50%, now, I mean, this is nonsense, and uh, sometimes it makes me very angry and uh, to see politicians uh, be behaving like this when uh, ordinary people on the street are suffering like this, okay? Need bailout? If you need help, do not be ashamed. Ask for help. There's nothing wrong to ask for help. If you need help, ask for help. If somebody can help you, great. All right. So same thing I said to trade. If you need help, ask for help. Okay. All right. So blah 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 blah. Enough of my blah blah blah. So price is retesting this support zone for the. Okay, we break above this uh, resistance level. All right. We are retesting. We wait for this candle to close again. Okay. And pay attention to the okay when we see the momentum decreasing like this we need to be very very careful also we have again one two three four five when we come five way we are very careful the market in my view is trying to retest this high here which is finding very very difficult because of what has happened in 2009 and 2010 the market has been manipulated a lot of stock now are discounted oversold but the general market itself looks bearish no, investors are very scared about that because the market looks bearish, but a lot of stocks are bullish, are, are oversold, but the market is distorted. This is what happened. Instead of having the market go on two legs, that time we should have had uh, something like this, ladies and gentlemen, I've said it before, we should have had something like this, and I hate this nonsense, uh, we should have had something like this, a double bottom nicely, okay? So from 2011, we should have had now something going up like this, very, very bullish. But the politicians were so scared about the bear, in fact, they buy the, the ban, okay, the, the bearish trade or short traders, they blame all the credit rating agency, they blame, uh, okay, some hedge fund manager that were shorting the market. Why people short the market? They short the market when the market is overbought, they short it. They will buy when the market is oversold, full stop. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? So, buy and sell, okay? Buy and sell. So nothing wrong with it. If they sold it, they will buy it again. It becomes cheaper. People will buy it again. Simple. So we should have had something like this. Now the market is hanging in the air like this on one leg. And everybody is saying, oh, I don't want to buy and hold now because uh, the market is not looking very good. And people are just scared. And the market is just going slowly now. Normally we should start now the bullish cycle. Okay? All right? So if you go back again now, okay, going quickly uh, uh, to the monthly chart, the same scenario as we have seen for this uh, uh, um, uh, Nasdaq also, the same blah 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 is taking place here uh, for uh, this um, for this um, uh, Dow Jones, all right? Okay, the same thing is happening here, all right? So, there's not much to say, okay? Only to repeat myself, we, we are now, we break above a support level that's more visible on the, okay, uh, quarterly chart, okay? You can see that there's a bullish uh, uh, candle being uh, formed here, okay? But uh, this uh, month is not your finish. And also, we pay attention to the quarterly chart. That's all I can say at this point in time. If uh, we draw, for instance, uh, uh, a channel here, uh, which I've done before, you can see that uh, uh, this trend line here joining this point and this point, okay? We have tested this level here, all right? So, it's not much going on now. You may play around and draw all your line from different angles and to see uh, what the market is likely to do. In my view, the market is, uh, okay, as you can see this one and this one. That's why we did below it now, okay. It makes sense, okay, this point and this point. Let's make it bigger, okay. All right. We are not, okay, retesting this uh, trend line here. 
Okay, we are replacing this trail line here, sitting on it nicely here. So, all right. If you receive any bullish signal, okay, run it, okay. But the challenge is above the level, okay, of uh, a 13400. Okay, if you want to be very, very bullish, as I explained to today, you probably must break above the level of uh, 13400 and uh, retest it and turn around before we can be perfectly bullish. It's another hot spot trading zone. So you can see this point and this point. Okay, the price if it is now break above it and now retesting and sitting here. Now watch it, watch it because if you look on a yearly chart, okay, on the yearly chart, the prime may try to seek, okay, the first media line of the top channel as I explained to you for the Nasdaq hundred uh, index, okay. Watch the video, watch the first part of the video, the Nasdaq, the same thing apply, okay, to the uh, Dow Jones, okay. There's no much to say. If you go now to the daily chart. Uh, to see what is taking place on a daily chart, what I will do, I will remove uh, all my lines now, okay? Okay, on a daily chart, the same scenario, the almost the same picture like the NASDAQ 100, prior and pass, prior pull pullback now, okay? See, here, yeah. alright? So, going again to the uh, hourly chart, let's see what's happening there. On the hourly chart, now, on for the Dow Jones, the price is now out of, uh, okay? Uh, the bearish okay channel okay all right this is what happened now on the hourly chart for the nasa honey so uh the best scenario trader would prefer okay to roll it back and retest it okay somewhere in this region okay before taking it up but remember what i've said also regarding spain there wo there was excellent decision to bail out okay uh, the spanish bank uh, uh 125 okay billion dollar being pumped into the banks in uh in uh, Spain, we will see how the market will respond. So, attention on the trading triangle, the news, okay, before rushing into any trading decision. As always, trade like a pro and uh, trade on the edge, okay, aiming for the low risk trade, okay. It will be better to roll it down to, to retest the edge. And if you receive a signal here, you see there's a support here for day traders, okay. All right, watch it carefully. I invite you now, okay, to follow me okay. and watch the next part of the video uh, when we will talk about the S&P 500. We are looking at the S&P 500 on the weekly chart. All right. I hope uh, you have enjoyed uh, the first part of the video when we were talking about the nice dark composite uh, index and also the video about, uh, okay, the Dow Jones index. You may have noticed that uh, most of the indices are looking similar. You have the same picture, okay. So you see the picture of Nasdaq 100, the picture of uh, the Dow Jones index, whether on a yearly chart, quarterly chart, or monthly chart, they look almost similar, okay? Because this is the market. Whether you are trading census, you are trading uh, the CAC 40, you, you are trading the FTSE 100, most of the indices are following the, the, the S&P 500. This is the market. That's why it's so important, okay, to follow the market. So you are swing trading, you want to sell, sell when the market is going down you want to buy you want to buy when the market when you want to sell you want to sell the market when the market is at a resistance zone you want to buy you want to buy when the market is at a, a valid support level this strategy trade strategy will allow you okay to trade in harmony with the market okay as also i explained to you paying attention to the market leaders the okay very very important okay you must watch the leader this is the inside of the trading triangle a lot of a stream trader, position trader, day trader can trade. That's why recently we have started this series of videos. We were talking about traders talk to explain few things to traders because they can trade and they have traded before, they made money before and they have given everything back. If you have made some money before, you just prove to yourself that you can trade. Now, if you have given it back, it means that, okay, something went wrong. So you go back to the blackboard again and start afresh. You want to remain in the market, have money to trade with. So 5% money management rules. So market first, always market first, the sector before the media financial instrument. So sometimes you may see your portfolio completely red because, okay, maybe you go against the market or sometimes it can be just the news. The news can just screw up everything, okay? So you have to now go into defensive mode, okay? You don't want to be hit. You are defensive mode, protect your training capital, protect your 5%. So you are in a defensive mode. Defensive trading is very, very important. Talking about hedging, okay, controlling the risk, managing the risk, okay. So few, okay, 
weeks ago or months ago, we start uh, okay analyzing the S&P 500, and we draw this yellow line. If those who are following now on YouTube, you see the yellow line on the weekly chart. And then we were somewhere here, and we move it, okay. And then we draw also the green one from the monthly chart. So I'm going to switch it now to the monthly chart, okay. This is how we have started the whole blah blah blah. And I still have my line here. The green line is the trend line, okay. Join this point and this point on the monthly chart, okay this point and this point okay and then we move on okay we draw also okay the pitchfork tool this is the blue lines you can see here this is the pitchfork tool and also we try to draw the attention to trade it to the hot spot in the zone there was a hot spot in the zone hot spot in the zone we are pushing the hot spot in the zone we were here that time i was telling you watch it carefully you see the price now holding down on the edge of the monthly green trend line okay you see on the monthly, my apology because I want you to see how we were doing all this, draw all this line, and today where we are now, and I was telling you that okay, we are pushing this level. If the bearish momentum continues, we will do the opposite, which means from the red line, okay, you remember, from the red line to the green line, from the green line to the yellow line. In fact, we went to the yellow line section. You see the tail of, uh, you see the tail of uh, this uh, tail. We went even to the yellow one. So we do the reverse. Now the prior return back above the the green one. We have the support level again. The same blah 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 blah. Okay, continues. Okay, what the price has done before, the price will do it again. There's nothing new in the market. It's a, a stable a data. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go now. Clear all my thing. Okay. So on the yellow chart, you see, you're looking at this. You think that uh, if suppose I remove. I didn't show you this. I didn't say to you that we are looking at the S&P 500. You may think that okay. It looks like the now is a composite, okay? It looks like the Dow Jones. It looks perfectly like the Dow Jones, okay? Same picture. This is the market, all right? So, this is the yearly chart, okay? We want to know the smart median line. The smart high for this uh, S&P 500 did not change, remain intact. It's at 1471. Smart low did not change. The devil number, 66, that is smart low. What is said here? Didn't change since then, all right? And uh, the... The small media line did not change either because the price did not exceed the previous okay smart high. So the small media line, which is the most influential critical price level for the S&P 500, is at 1068. A beautiful number, 1068. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I will draw a line on this uh, okay a chart. So I remove all my previous lines. Okay. So I want to start a fire because I don't want to okay overload. Uh, okay the screen all right so the uh, 1068 somewhere okay i will do it uh, try to be accurate like a uh, lavoisier lavoisier uh, french uh, scientist okay so i want to do it accurately put it exactly okay at uh, 68 okay 1068 all right we are getting there all right getting there yeah okay that's exactly now. As always, I will color it yellow. That's the small media line, all right, for this uh, uh, S&P 500. That's it now. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the S&P 500, the market, all right. You may play around, draw your lines, okay, join point by point. This point, you can join to this one, okay. As long as, okay, as I explained to traders before, always, when we see a decline, we are below a decline trend line. You know about the trading zones, okay? Do not forget them, okay? So this is it, okay? All right. If you remain below this line, which I'm going to color now in a different color, okay? What I will do now, okay? I will color it, uh, all right? This one uh, uh, in turquoise, okay? All right. On the yearly chart, okay? It's not looking good. A top. A top here if we stay below this uh, high here it's not good but same thing for the nasdaq okay again okay let's go to the quarterly chart now and uh, you will see better there i'm going to the quarterly chart not the monthly chart and you can see the same blah 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 okay this uh, resistance level on the quarterly chart has been taken out blown out so to speak okay break above it we are retesting it we wait for the candle to close on the end of uh, june okay the 30th of June, okay, 2012. Remember what I've said about the Nasdaq Composite Index. The same thing will apply for this stock, this, uh, okay, not stock, this uh, S&P 500, which are sitting at uh, a support level. 
as explained to you before, again, ladies and gentlemen, the market is smart, may seek, okay, the media line of uh, this uh, channel, the top one, and the smart media line here, the media line roughly somewhere in this region, okay, around, uh, a moment please, a uh, moment please, okay, somewhere around, uh, we call it a one to six zero, one to six zero. Okay, so though we are at a support level, okay, though we are at a support level, the market you can see even came, you can see it was down to that zone. You can see, so we may see what's going to happen. There's a support here. The price came near that uh, media line of this uh, a top a channel here already. You can see the tail here. Okay, all right. So there's a support in this zone. Though we are still below the bearish. A trend line okay as I explained to you as long as we are in the bearish zone priority okay to the bearish uh, signal okay and uh, you want to pay attention to the trading zone uh, and also to the hot spot in the zone okay okay trading on the edge okay at low risk point that's what you want to do at low risk point because the market is becoming very very tricky now so they need to be very, very defensive. I can't overstress on that. Very, very defensive. Okay. Very, very defensive. Okay. You've done Shotokan before, Taekwondo. Be very, very de defensive. All right. And uh, protect your trading capital and uh, trade on the edge at a low risk point. Okay. So nothing has changed. Looking at the momentum, you can see it was stronger 2009. Okay. It was strong, but not as strong as it was before here. And again here. And the bear are challenging it on the edge. So, all right, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? All right, it's going to be okay, not straightforward, but we want to keep our eyes on the ball, okay, and trading on the edge. Going to the um, monthly chart, all right, you see the bullish candle being formed here, but the month candle, this candle is not yet completed. A decision has been made in Spain. We will see how this week will proceed, okay, after the decision. We know that Spain, okay, is hiding, blah, 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 blah. At the end, we'll come back for more money at one point. We will see, all right, unless they perform some miracles, all right. There's nothing uh, to be ashamed of. If you need help, ask for help, all right. That will, okay, assist you, okay, all right. So, this is it on the monthly chart, all right, okay. Going to the uh, daily chart, same thing for the NASDAQ, same thing for the Dow Jones, okay. There is, uh, you can draw a channel here or draw a common sense uh, channel like this. And you may see on this uh, daily chart, all right, that, okay, it's now out of uh, uh, the, the channel. But, okay, all right, you may see that. All right. So, but uh, do not forget this support level here. Okay, there's a support here. So it's hanging up here after going up. Display this week here, now it's going. You must take this high of uh, this one here on the daily chart, okay, before you can be perfectly bullish. If you want to be bullish, you want to be bullish in the bullish zone, which is this zone here, this session here. See this uh, horizontal line here at 1330, uh, and uh, you see the decline here at this zone. This is the bullish zone here, okay. This is a kind of indecision zone here. You want to play it very bullish, you are widely bullish, okay, let it come to the bullish zone. If you are in this zone, be very, very cautious, all right. On the hourly chart, S&P 500, okay, now you can see that, uh, okay, on the hourly chart, the same thing, you see, it came out of the channel, okay, so, as I was playing to you before, we will prefer it to roll it, or some may say it's already done, okay, we will see, roll it down, as the market always was says, let me prepare maybe to bring it back, or, run it, or let me decide to kick it up, okay, something like this, Bring it straight out first to break this uh, one three 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 zero, and then uh, retest it before going it up. Okay, I would prefer okay the first uh, scenario when we roll it down first. Okay, before rolling it up. Okay, all right. This is about the S and P five hundred. I invite you now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to follow me to the next video when we will talk about the euro, the US USD back, currency pair, and the pound dollar currency pair. In this video, we will talk about the euro USD and the uh, pound dollar currency pair. Before we continue, I want to inform traders that the RTS three one five 
is now ready uh, for download at www.stochastic-magd.com. You will click on Documents and Login if you are already a member of www.stochasticmagd.com. Click on Document, Login, and uh, select RTS315 to download uh, the free real-time scalping trading tool for free. As I explained to traders before, this is my first uh, trading system as a new trader. This is not a perfect uh, scalping trading system, but I believe this will assist uh, new traders. Another thing I want to mention here, if you are new trader and uh, you want to use the RTS 315, you must okay, focus okay, on signal 2, bullish signal 2 and bearish signal 2. For experienced traders, you may use a typical okay, a signal given by the RTA 315 using the trend line, the channel, and paying attention to the price itself. Uh, if you are a very new trader or you know that you are not excellent in scalping, it's better to concentrate to master okay, the okay, uh, bullish signal 2 or bearish signal 2. If you are not yet member of www.stochastic-magd.com, you need to click on document. You go to www.stochastic-magd.com, click on document, okay? Register for free as a member. It's up to you. And, okay, resign in again, okay? And then select RTS, okay? 315, okay? And download it for free. All from documents, okay? That's it. Moving on, talking about the pound dollar currency pair, what do I want to say to traders? We can see this is on a daily chart, the price went down, rolling down, rolling up. Some traders are already bullish here, okay, as I explained to you, the, 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 the psychological price level, okay, the PPL for the pound dollar is a 15500, 15500, zero, 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 okay, that's, uh, okay, the, the critical price level, okay, for the pound dollar currency pair somewhere in this uh, region. So priority bullish signal above the, the PPL, the psychological price level, and priority bearish signal below the psychological price level. We are now below the psychological price level. Though the price was going down, remember what we have said in the okay, trade stock, do not buy okay at the end of uh, okay the, the, the third the, the third bearish uh, uh, cycle. Be, if, do not buy and forget. In this case, I think people shouldn't forget here and manage it carefully. There is a high channel of prime rolling back down to retest uh, okay, this zone uh, around, call it uh, 15330. We will see because there is a very important news this weekend. Do not forget that important news. Spain has been, banking in Spain has been bailed out. You play on the forest market uh, this week. Do not forget Spain. All right? So, Okay, high chance that the price may roll it down first before rolling it up. Does not mean that we just go start selling like a mad traders. We just follow the price, use the TSTW24, TSTWSY008, okay, like professional traders. Quickly, also for the Euro USD, okay, before I move on, for the pound dollar, this on the daily chart, remember that that's all I want to say. Similar thing I want to say for the Euro, but this is the pound, we can see that we are coming to the edge. But I think there's a bit more to be done before we return above the psychological price level where we will be perfectly bullish, even though Miss Lagarde was saying that, uh, okay, they should devalue again the pound and print more pound. And the Bank of England did not print more money. They don't want to continue with uh, the quantitative easing. They have made that decision. And they keep the interest rate in place. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, last time I was criticizing lovely, okay, Christine Lagarde. Okay, policy stock, okay, but traders should keep eyes on the price, uh, all right, okay, so this is it for the pound dollar, okay, for the euro USD, moving on fast, ladies and gentlemen, euro USD, where are you, the same thing for the pound, we can see on the monthly chart, this, uh, you see all this, uh, you see, try to revisit at the level that we were talking about for ages, one two zero 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 okay the twelve thousand zone okay it came a bit shy but now i think it's, we will see whether the market will accept it now or <laughs> the greedy bear will uh, be very very stubborn to bring it to the one two uh, zero 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 zone okay we will see but is you need to be careful if you are okay 100 percent bearish be very careful it has been done for some time now <laughs> all right 
so don't be the last person there being bearish okay all right so again if you go to the daily charts exactly the same thing i said for the pound because this currency the, the, the euro usd and the pound dollar currency pair the australian ca chef the euro gbp this currency pair move almost in the same direction do not forget the australian dollar a swiss franc currency pair that is also following the euro usd currency pair the leading currency pair is the euro usd so again on the daily chart we see rolling down going up drawing a common sense okay you see the channel here all right some may say that it has done it already but we will prefer orderly okay pull back so there is a high chance the price may come back again and retest this bottom here before we go again do not forget okay the arrogant okay politicians okay that came finally to ask for ecb bailout okay one to five billion uh, dollar okay being pumped into spain so eyes on the ball and remember the trading triangle the news the leaders and the fundamental can change the dynamics of the market at any point okay this is it ladies and gentlemen okay thank you for watching for rating uh, for commenting and uh, for liking our page on facebook there is a problem on our website now www.stokatima.com but we are busy rectifying the page because some page are showing incorrectly now but uh, is down to the technician they will uh, fix it at one point okay so thank you for watching and uh, we hope you have enjoyed this video uh, that uh, you will put into use okay in order okay to cream the market consistently until the next time enjoy yourself and uh, be uh, very happy we are the tstw uh, 24 uh, traders